Jimmy. Finally. Office hours are nine to five. Star Cinema takes you behind the scenes of the highly praised independent film, Little Athens. Well, Little Athens is about a day in the life of an ensemble of Gen Ys, meaning uh, 18, 19, 21, 22-year-olds. Essentially what it's about is just uh, what life is like in, in a small town. You hear about your ex? Jerry? Yeah, asshole Jerry. So it's really about that post-high school void that, that a lot of people have moved into. This story was very original and unique. I thought that it explored our generation and what it's like to be just in America growing up now. Katie, can you not ask me so many questions today? I've got too much to think about. There's an apathy that can set in. I think a lack of hope and a lack of anything around in your environment impelling you to, to move forward or, or do something new. It's Tom's vision most part, uh, his brother Jeff co-wrote. At its core, the story is about being lost. Everyone's on their way, headed to some sort of goal, and nobody really reaches it. Are you seeing anybody else? No. You're not cheating on me. Uh-uh. Be honest. You're starting to annoy me. It's about all these lives colliding into one and kind of, you know, the chips fall where they may. Little Athens is the first film from Legacy Pictures, a production company formed by a group of lawyers and friends with a passion and talent for filmmaking. What we decided to do was rather than to do it sort of and say, okay, we're sort of attorneys and we're sort of filmmakers, we actually just decided we would go the full nine yards. We're very much a family here. You know, the law firm and the production company are the same people. We're all very close friends. By far, directing film is, is more difficult. It's an adrenaline rush like, like nothing else. An official selection at the 2005 Toronto Film Festival, Little Athens features a talented ensemble of rising stars portraying the lives of wayward youth in a small town. Well, the first thing that really sold me on the project was talking to Tom. He had such a specific vision. I thought we did a great job with the casting in this, and I thought we found actors that, that are really just spectacular. This is only one month, you boys owe three. Yeah, I know. I'm real sorry. Um, that's all we got. Yeah, well, when you get me the rest, then I'll let you back in. Somebody in the middle of, like, some little Hobart town in the middle of wherever has a voice now with this. This turned out to be this really good movie, you know, and, and it's really exciting. The film boasts an amazing soundtrack, including music from Radiohead and Supertramp. Radiohead just agreed to allow us to use their song from OK Computer, Let Down. I can't say enough about it. I'm so excited about it because I'm such a huge fan. You really want to capture what it's like to be in this age group in this particular town and, and going through these particular circumstances, and, and you have to do it in regard to so many characters. You need that little oomph. We knew that we wanted to have a very, very large soundtrack. In addition to the music, the unique the unique style of cinematography also contributed to the power of the film. We're trying to make a movie that looks big on a really small budget. The challenges came from every direction. Tom had pretty specific ideas from the very beginning, and even in the initial interview when we talked about what he wanted to do, he had very specific choices in mind in terms of the color schemes for each of the main characters. The thing that struck me the most was visually how so much was communicated. Apart from the script and apart from the characters is rare, I think, a lot of times, especially in independence. The whole process, the whole deal blows my mind anyway. It's really hard to comprehend. Yeah, it's just fun. I really, really get off on the collaboration of film and all the stuff that goes into it, which no one would ever know sitting in the theater. Be sure to check out Little Athens and stay tuned to Star Cinema for more behind-the-scenes looks into the world of independent filmmaking.